What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get to space in Goat Simulator. This house that we're trying to get into right now is right next to the spawn point on the map, so it's pretty easy to find. And in here, there's this little uh, beacon, it's called. And it looks like the beacon has a little towel, uh, you know, as its little hologram or whatever it is there holding it up. So we're going to take that out into the crop fields over behind where you spawned, kind of. Or at least over to the left of where you spawn. And out in the crop fields, other than the yellow car here doing donuts, there is a couple of crop circles up here. One of which already has a beacon, and the other which doesn't. And the beacon on the smaller crop circle matches the beacon that you can pick up in the house there. And so if you go attach this beacon to uh, the one up top, as you can see these two beacons kind of match here. If you attach the beacon to the one up top, you will actually end up summoning a spaceship that will fly over these trees over here. We'll watch it. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see. And that will eventually take us up into space. As a side note, if you lick the beacon, it will shoot you off kind of in a weird direction usually. Um, sometimes it shoots you really far, sometimes, you know, not very far at all, like that time that just happened. So now the flying saucer is coming, and we will get picked up. I'm assuming this is a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, illusion. It's been forever since I read that book. I actually read that series in like 6th grade. I should probably revisit it. It was pretty fun. I don't remember too much of it, actually. Anywho, uh, once you get up to the spaceship, you'll be teleported into space. And once you're up here, you can't really do too much. Uh, there's some asteroids, and you can view the moon and the much larger Earth. And the asteroids look pretty cool and everything, but you can't really move around to them. So I figured I'd probably have better luck if I had the jetpack, which is available in the uh, main map of the game. And so I figured I'd acquire the jetpack and then come back to space. To get the jetpack, just go over to this building, which is in construction, and work your way up to uh, the top level that's not the roof. Um, to get there, you're just going to have to climb the building a little bit. Um, there may be easier ways to do that, but what I do is I use the ladder on the side, and then just use a series of other ladders over here. Like I said, you're trying to get to the highest level that's not the roof of the building. So the last one, I guess, that has a ceiling is the one you're looking for. What I do to do that is just climb these series of ladders here uh, that are kind of on the back of the building, kind of on the outside with some scaffolding maybe, or where an elevator might be. I don't know what that's going to be when the building is built, but you'll find the jetpack up here. And then I figured the jetpack would work pretty well in space. I hadn't tested it at this point, but I thought I might also pick up the pitching machine so that... Uh, I would be able to maybe bust those asteroids and it would be kind of like playing a game of asteroids in Goat Simulator because they had put in the Flappy Goat game that I had already found and so I thought they had kind of put in a asteroid game maybe but uh, we'll see how that works out once I actually get up there. The pitching machine is over near the Goat Tower. Uh, shout out to that one guy who pointed me uh, in the direction of finding out what the goat tower was actually alluding to. Apparently there's just a goat tower somewhere out there in the world that people visit and kind of pay homage to. And there are goats in it. And it looks just like that one there, so that's pretty cool. We'll get in here and pick up the pitching machine. When you have more than one uh, special attachment, the R button does double duty. So every time I press the R button, it will ignite my rocket jetpack and shoot a uh, baseball, I guess it is. So that's kind of cool. I wish they could be differentiated as far as buttons go so that we could put, you know, maybe your second special on T or another key instead of both binding to R. But, you know, maybe that will be something that comes in the future of Goat Simulator. Now that we're actually up in the air, I figured I would try out the rocket. I, this was the first time I had brought the jetpack up into space. And it doesn't work as well as I was hoping. And shooting the baseballs, it doesn't really work as well as I was hoping either. But it's still kind of funny to see the jetpack in space and everything. I couldn't really get to where I was going. I made some attempts to either get to the moon or to Earth. And I could never really do that. So I figured I'd just shoot a bunch of uh, those little baseballs in space. But once those are out there, you can kind of get a sense of how far relatively you're moving. And with the rocket packs, we're not really moving that much at all. So... Eh, kind of a bust there, in my opinion. 
Um, I would have liked to be able to blow up these asteroids and everything. But again, this game's going to have plenty of mod support, so maybe one day you will be able to play asteroids within Goat Simulator. Who knows? The next thing I wanted to try, though, was being the Goat King and taking off into space and seeing what the uh, peasant goats actually do in space. So I went and acquired the Goat King power by climbing to the top of Goat Tower. And I started spawning goats before I was actually even in space. I wanted to see kind of where they'd spawn in space, so I just started spamming the R key here. And you'll see the goats kind of congregate up there, but gravity doesn't bring them all the way down to where you are. So I'm not really sure what's going on up here in space. If there's something better to do, you know, someone can let me know, and I'll try to figure that out. But right now I think space is just somewhere you can go and kind of look at, as opposed to really doing anything too functional. So anyway guys, we're nearing the end of this video. I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and please take the time to subscribe if you haven't. I'd appreciate that very much as well. Now I turned on ragdoll physics and we're summoning goats, and it looks like I've gotten to the point where the game won't let me summon any more goats. So that will be the end of our space adventure. Once again guys, I do thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye guys.